The divine prerogative is God's. The divine prerogative is God's. I'm going to try one more time. The divine prerogative. Let me say it this way. The prerogative belongs to God. Yes. That means he starts it. That means he starts it. You see, you have the, you have the idea that because you came to the altar or because you make a move or because you're worshiping, you are seeking his face, that you are initiating. But God said, God didn't say that at all. The psalmist said, you have said unto me, seek my face. Therefore, thy face, O God, will I seek. Meaning, he starts it. Lift your hands and say, you start it. Say, start a fire in me. Say, give me the want to. Give me the desire. Give me a hunger. Give me a passion. Give me a thirsting after you as the deer panted for the water brook. Make my soul long after you, O God. You see, you're trying to do it. You're trying to do it. You don't do it. That is, that is the essence of worship. The essence of worship is surrender, not you doing it. The essence of the anointing is being possessed by His Spirit, not by what you think, but letting Him take control. He wants to take control of you, not you trying to approach His throne. He already did that. All you have to do is say, God, I'm open. Drag me there if you have to. Kick me there if you have to. But get me there. Give me that overwhelming desire where I know if I can just get to Jesus, every, everything is going to be all right. Watch me now. Say, thy face, O God. Thy face, O God. Thy face, O God. Notice he didn't say his hand. God didn't say to David, seek my hand, seek my miracle, seek my healing, seek my deliverance. He said, seek my face. I said, he said, seek my face. He didn't say, seek my feet. He didn't say, seek my arm. He, didn't, he said, seek my face. God said to his servant, you seek my face. What's his face? What's his mouth? What comes from your face? Notice that emojis are not made with the hand. They're made with the face. That's the place of expression. Yeah. One glance gives approval. Yes. One frown gives death. Yeah. That's right. There is blessing in his smile. Yes. There is cursing in his frown. Seek my face. At his face you see his smile. At his face you see the brightness of his countenance. At his face, when he smiles on you, he showers you with favor. He says, you're the head. 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 You're not the tail. You're not left behind. You're not left out. Seek my face. Throw your hands up and let God smile at you right now. He's smiling at you right now. Secondly, at his face, we find his word. From his mouth, we find his word. Yes. Do you know that God has a word for you right now? Yes. Yes. Now, it might be repent, but that's his word. Right. It's his goodness that leads you to repentance. Right. So just go ahead and repent. Yes, yes, yes. Did you hear me? His word to you might be, be healed. His word to you might be shout. 
His word to you might be fall down. His word to you might be witness. His word to you might be tomorrow about this time. I don't, I don't, I dare you to seek a word right now. Start crying out to it. Give me a word, God. Give me a word. Come on. Give me a word. Give me a word. Give me your word. You might hear him say, be healed. You might hear him say, be delivered. You might hear him say, keep seeking. You might hear him say, turn away from that person. I don't know. Ask him. Ask him and get ready. He said, you ask, you receive. You seek, you find. You knock, it's open to you. Seek. Say, give me a word. Stop being like a baby bird waiting on some preacher somewhere to give you a word. God wants to give you a word. God wants to speak up in your spirit. God wants to declare and decree on the depths of your being. He wants to put a word in you. And when he does, no adversary can take it from you ever again. Say, give me a word, God. Keep saying it. Come on, cry out. in the Holy Ghost. Oh, I feel the Holy Ghost right now. Pray in the Holy Ghost. And as you are, He's going to reveal to your spirit a word. He's going to give you a word right now. Right there where you are. You need a word. Go. Stop. Run. Shout. Give. Seek. Forgive. Forgive, 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 have faith, have faith, be bold. Let him give you a word and then start speaking that word. Speak that word over your life. Speak it, speak it, speak that word over your life. Every need is met, every bill is paid. My body is healed. Speak it. It's his word to you. It belongs to you. It's for you. The third thing you find in his mouth is his breath. Job said there is a spirit in man. It is the breath of the Almighty. As you are speaking that word that he gave you, the Holy Spirit is anointing it. It is not you speaking, but God speaking through you. Declare it, decree it, announce it, proclaim it, loose it. Speak that word. to lead you. Speak it. Quit whispering it. Speak it. Declare it. Decree it. Get used to the sound of your own voice. Who cares who's around you? What's he saying? Speak it. What's he saying? Speak it. What's he saying?
what's he saying? Michelle, what's he saying? What's he saying to you? He wants to heal you. What? He wants to heal you. Heal your mind, heal your body, heal your soul, heal your spirit, heal your family. Oh, he wants to heal you. He wants to heal you. He's coming in. He's coming in. Listen to him. He's coming in. Listen to him. He's coming in. He's restoring to you. Josh was the first one at this altar, and and as Pastor said, he's not an overtly spiritual person. I've known him and his family for 20 some odd years. He's I've a, known him since they were born. 30, 31 years, 31 years he's been here. Graduate of Harvest Preparatory School, and the power of God is just all over him. And he's got a word. He's got a word for us corporately. Go ahead, Josh. Get down here if you would just it's not it's not about show just get down here this altar is for healing as was just said I needed this today bad and those around me know why I needed this today make a move and if you will get down here, things that have been on you for generations will break. But get here. Get here. This is the first time in my life of 31 years in this place I've held this microphone and stood here in this spot. So get here. Don't sit and watch. You sit and watch. Sorry. Sorry. I've thought about leaving this place many times over the course of 31 years but i wouldn't get what i'm getting today if i did i would not get this so whatever happened to you whatever your past is whatever your relationships are it does not matter because they're not it's not god he's the only one that can heal you people cannot that's right do not trust people love them but god's the one who can deliver not anybody else that's right Did you ever ask yourself, I'm haunted by questions. <clears throat> Did you ever ask yourself why people don't move? Yes. Yes. Why people don't move? God has said no less than five times, move. God has said, move. But the modern church, half the front line ought to be in the altar already. 
because y'all just going through the motions. Some of you band members ought to be in the altar seeking everything but him. I'm not, I'm not rebuking you. I'm just telling you. you. You have a man standing here crying his eyes out under the anointing of God. But because it's not some big name preacher shouting and shucking and jiving, well, all right. you're unmoved. God's word moves you. God's spirit moves you. And there is nothing ever sedentary. Right. If you're not seeking God more today than you were a week ago, a year ago, ten years ago, you ought to run and slide into this altar. Yes, 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 yes. Amen. Yes. I, I, I'm just tormented by questions like that. I mean, I promise you, if I said I've got a thousand dollar check written out, you can put your name on it. As many people as run to this altar, y'all run, you'd break your necks to get down here. And you know it's true. But the modern church, this is what we're fighting against. Yes, and yes. I'm going to go ahead and say it. Say this it. is what Dominion Camp Meeting is all about this year. Come on, we're going to break yes. these religious yes. curses yes. that are all over the church. Come on. We're going to break this entertainment spirit. Yes. Yeah, we're going to we're going to break it. I said we are going to break it, yes. and when we break it in this place, Come it's on. going to be broken all over this nation yes. and around the world. Yes. I found three more of my friend preachers who went on social media this week yeah. and said we've had it. Yes. The focus of our church is now to win souls, yes. and that's it. Hallelujah. Well, this is where that started. Do you understand that? Yes. This is not an ordinary place. That's right. This is an apostolic place. Yes. And if this place is not just for this place. Amen. That's right. Come on, Pastor. Something's yes, going to break in here. Yes, it is. Something's going to break. Jesus. Huh? You've got to get down here. Stop sitting and watching. It will not happen if you don't make a move. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and then all and these then. things will be added unto you. That's right. Then it will. And then. But you got to seek him first. Yes. Seek by getting here at that altar now. now. I'm just, okay, that's six times. That's six times. We have in the modern church been trained that y'all are entertainers. You're supposed to stand out here and sing your song. Right. No unction. Yeah. No glory. I beg y'all to move. How many meetings have I had? Move. Why did I build this platform? Why do you have a wireless guitar? To move. Yes, then why are you standing here? Not one of you have moved. Not one of you. This is not worship. Yeah. Amen. Singing a song is not worship. Now this week, y'all better get a hold of God. And I'm talking to y'all too, who are very distracted. It's all normal. We're getting ready to change a nation. Yes. That's yes. why you're here. Yes. You're not here because you're a great singer. Yes. You're here to change this nation. That's right. And it starts with us. Yes. And as Josh told us, it starts at this altar. Yes. Stop being distracted. Stop. There's one thing for you to do this morning. Find Him. Yes. For yourself. Hallelujah. Find Him. Find him. Find him. Well, I have enough of him. I don't have to move. If that was true, where's that woman? I saw her a minute ago. Huh? There she is. Come here. Come here. 
She's down here. She's down here. Come here. Come here. Help her. She was sitting here. They always sat right back there. Everything fine. No need to move. Got all of God. Try to bless me. I dare you. She has to have a belt on for to help her stand up. Because she went to bed the other night with a headache. Just a headache. The devil will kill you with a hangnail if you let him. This is no time. I don't care. I'm not here trying to win friends. No, sir. I'm not going to put on some trendy clothes and tell you what you think you want to hear in order to keep you coming to church so I can tell people how many people are coming to my church. This is not entertainment. No, sir. No, sir. And I want to get back to the New Testament model. I want to get back to that thing. You come in here lying to the Holy Ghost, you just fall dead. All right. So you think that's quaint. All right. You don't know God. You think you do. Help us. You think you've got him all figured out. He wants to take you into things your mind has never even comprehended. Yes. But you're going to have to move. Yes. Thank you, God. I'll tell you, for 42 years, we have refused to go on with church when we don't sense the power and the presence of God. That's right, Pastor. Refused. That's right. And if that's uncomfortable for you, I don't know what to tell you. Because I only know how to obey him. Yes. And I move when he says move. Yes. Are you listening? Yes, sir. I said I move when he says move. Yes, you do. Yeah, there she is. She's just like y'all. Well, I'm tired. Is that necessary? Well, I don't feel anything. So I'll just, why wouldn't you want to get closer to him? Again, questions haunt me. And is she beautiful? She's always been beautiful. So, so she went to bed with a headache. How many of you have ever gone to bed with a headache? Except the next day, she couldn't move. So they rushed her to the hospital. She had a huge brain tumor that she had no idea was there. But he didn't say seek me about the brain tumor how long do you think it took them to chase after god with everything in them Come on. how long when you went to bed with a headache and you wake up paralyzed and the next thing you know they're cutting your head open would you seek him then? Would anything distract you then? Well, how do you know that's not you? See, that's what we lose sight of. We lose sight of he wants to be our breath. Ha! Ah, I said he wants to be our breath, our hope, our joy our strength not coming to a church service and being entertained by good singing and a preacher that's super powered and some kind of program Hallelujah. 
And Father, we believe for total healing, complete restoration right now in Jesus' name. Loose her. Every sickness, every disease, every attack, every pain, every malady, every malfunction, come out of this body in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Now stand against everything trying to come against you. I'd run to this altar if I was you. Okay, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Josh said I something's going on, my hands on fire. I gotta touch her. Join hands with somebody. Pray for them. Pray for them right now. Pray that they'd have a desire to seek God's faith. Come on. Pray that they have a want to. Pray that they can't live without the anointing. They can't live without another drink. They can't live without another dip. They can't live without a fresh touch. They've got to have some fresh fire. Pray, church. Open your mouth. Worship. Worship, honey. Thank you, God. Pray. Seek my face. Thy face. Oh, God, will I seek? We seek your face, Jesus. You're all we need. Your presence. Rebuke hard heartedness. Rebuke complacency. Rebuke the spirit of death. Rebuke the spirit of death. Speak life. Speak life. Speak life. We seek your face. We seek your face. We seek your face. That's coming. You're getting there. You're getting there. We need you, Jesus. You're getting there. You're forgetting about you. I hear a roar. We need you. Lose that lion, Zion. We are. Nothing but Jesus. 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 I don't care what time I go home. I don't care about my dinner. I don't care about my lunch. I don't care about a sermon. I don't care about a song. I got to touch Jesus for myself. Drop 
Pastor God gave you a word that from this place we would touch the world. And he's building on that word that from this place, from this apostolic ministry is going to come a greater prophetic, a greater evangelistic, a greater anointing that will not only move from this place, but through the churches of this nation and through the world. And I don't know who this is for, but some of you are sitting in the back and you've been watching and watching and watching. You've been enamored with the fireworks, but you're afraid of the fire. Here's the difference. He said he will come as a refiner's fire and a fuller's soap. And he's wanting to bring purity and holiness back to the house of God. Because the fire of God will not fall on this world until it touches the church. Where did you go, Josh? Josh, the prophetic anointing is upon you now greater than you've ever known. You get ready. God is getting ready to move on you in a supernatural way. You and your wife, your life is going to be unlike anything you've ever experienced before. In the name of Jesus, touch him right now. Shout Shout like your life depends on that voice. It's his voice. Call in the gifts of the Holy Ghost. Call in the gifts of Elder Canfield. Go call in the gifts of the Holy Ghost. They're coming from the Holy Ghost, from the Spirit of God, from the throne of God, the manifestation gifts of the Holy Spirit being sprinkled, being outpoured like rain on the people of God. Everyone who has a willing heart, everyone who will say, yes, God, everyone who will say, I'll go, I'll stand, I'll speak. God is pouring out an abundance of rain of the gifts of His Spirit. Somebody shout and receive it here. All nine of them. Somebody hands say up. nine hands of them. Hands up, receive. Get your hands up in the air. Hallelujah. The vocal You're about gifts. to get something you've never had. Yeah. Shout for it. Yeah. My God. There's fire. Somebody believe God for the vocal gifts, tongues, and interpretation of tongues, and prophecy. My God. Somebody praise God for the revelation gifts, word of knowledge, word of wisdom, and discerning of spirits. I have it. I have it. I have it. Somebody thank God for the power gifts. My God. Oh, my God. Oh. Oh my God! There is a major oh distribution my God. of power gifts power right gifts. now, right now. Take it, take it. Yeah. My God, somebody is going to have an experience this week. You're going to meet somebody you've Prophesy. never met before, Prophesy. and all of a sudden. They're going to turn around and say to you, I've never seen you before. I've never met you before. I don't know who you are, but there's something about you that convicts me of my sin. Somebody needs to shout. Holy Spirit within me, I release myself to receive the gifts of healings. I am a healer by the Holy Spirit right now. Now 
join hands with somebody and declare their healing. Declare it. God is going to heal hundreds right now. Hundreds right now. God will heal that person you're speaking over right now. Heal. Don't pray. Declare healing. Spirit. Soul. Body. Spirit. Soul. manifestation of healing power come into the left hand of every person yes, yes, yes. who will receive now yes. in Jesus name, in Jesus name. I, I receive receive the gift the gift of us. wait for it I, I receive the gift of receive the gift of I receive the gift of the gift from of, the Holy Spirit from the Holy Spirit this day, this day I, receive I receive the power gift, the power gift in, my life, in my life in my family in my, family, in my, neighborhood, in my neighborhood in my church in my church I receive the power gift. I receive the power 